So I've been looking around YouTube trying to figure out how to do tune shaders with alpha cutouts so that we get this nice cutout effect from our shader. And uh, I haven't been able to find any results so I decided to make one myself explaining how I came across it. Now I'm gonna do a disclaimer here that uh, I don't know too much about shaders hence why I was looking up how to do this and um, there's probably much better shaders that you can uh, combine with what I'm showing you here today to get the results that you want for your renders. So without further ado, let's go into this. First I'm going to show you my texture file. Here you can see it is cut out using the alpha cutouts and you're going to want to open a shader panel, shader editor. This is, this is the final one so it's not so complicated. Let's go ahead and uh, delete all this and start over. Okay, so first uh, we're going to create a principled BDS, BSDF. We're going to go ahead and create image texture. We're going to need two of those, so you can either do that again or copy paste it. I'm going to open up my texture here. Open the same texture on both. One is going to be used for the colors, the other one is going to be used for the alpha. Okay. Uh, we're going to do shader to RGB. And we're going to plug in, zoom in a bit, we're going to plug in the BSDF to the shader here. And then we're going to do color ramp. Color ramp will be plugged into this. Now we're going to come back to this node in a, bit, a little bit. Let's just set up all the notes first. We're going to do uh, mix RGB. Okay, plug this into there. And we're going to plug the color from this texture into color one. Okay, then we're going to do mix share and material output. So this is going to be the final node here in this chain. Like shader into surface up here and put color down there. Color over here into the FAC up top. Uh, looks a little weird right now. We're missing one last node, and that is the transparent. We should do transparent, not translucent. Transparent BSDF. Plug that into the middle here of the mix shader. Now you're going to see it. It's a little. Well, actually, it looks kind of nice. Um, it's a little better now. Uh, what we have to do here, back in the color ramp. Um, we're going to change this to constant. Okay, and you see it's get, getting there, kind of cell shaded. And then you're going to drag this all the way down to about here, maybe, wherever you feel comfortable. Come back into principal B BSDF, and you're going to lower this number to like 0.232. And then finally, over here in the mix, we're going to change this to multiply. So now we have our cell shaded look with alpha cutouts. So again, that's uh, these two image textures, principles BDSF. We change the alpha here. Um, make sure you add your textures. It's going to be the same one. Make sure you slide this down over. You change this to constant. Make sure your mix RGB node is changed to multiply. And that's pretty much all the things you have to check off. You can go over here in the color ramp and change the color of your shadow. So if you want like a red shadow, you can do that. Whatever color uh, you like. 
And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, again, I don't know too much about shaders and how they work. But from what I see, this is how I got it working. It's pretty simple. It doesn't look, you know, fantastic like some of these other really complex shaders. But I think for a very simple, clean uh, look for the alpha cutouts, this is what you want to go for, I think. Um, if you have any comments or questions, uh, go ahead and ask me in the comments below. And I'll try to answer them. Thank you.